Legislation filed today would make it a felony for someone on parole or probation to tamper with their electronic monitoring device. This is in response to the fatal shooting at a Dallas hospital last October. The KBU defenders looked at how many parolees are subject to electronic monitoring across Texas and right here in our area. Here's investigative reporter Erica Proffer. If you have an ankle monitor and you cut it off under this law, you go to jail immediately to serve the rest of your term and you'll be charged with a felony. Today's state representative Rafael Anchia filed House Bill 3549 to make it a crime for someone to tamper with an electronic monitoring device. Right now, it's not. The proposed legislation comes after a man killed two people at a hospital in Dallas. The four-time convicted felon was on parole and wearing an ankle monitor when he went into his girlfriend's hospital room. She had just given birth to his baby. This is surveillance video from October 2022, acquired by KVU sister station WFAA in Dallas-Fort Worth. Police say Nestor Hernandez killed a caseworker and nurse at the hospital. The girlfriend recently spoke to a WFAA reporter. It should really track you. Know. The gunman police say was under electronic monitoring, considered a curfew monitor. The Texas Parole Board uses two types of electronic monitoring. One is a radio frequency monitor that shows when a parolee leaves the house and comes home for following up curfew. It's not a tracker. The second type of monitor has GPS and can track parolees. The KV defenders pulled data from the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, which shows 4,464 parolees currently subject to electronic monitoring and GPS monitoring. In Central Texas, Travis County has 124 parolees on some type of monitoring. Williamson County has 39 parolees. Bastrop County has 10. Hayes County, 16. Most of them are monitored by GPS. The bigger question that policymakers and law enforcement uh, are going to need to grapple with is if you can have violent offenders on any type of monitor, be they GPS or otherwise, and whether that really keeps us safe. We also looked at the number of parolees who violated their monitoring device condition. While not currently a criminal offense, it can carry administrative penalties. In fiscal year 2022, 1,127 warrants were executed statewide. Each returned warrant confirmed a cut monitor strap. If legislation passes, Cases like those could lead to felony charges. If you violate that public trust, that promise you made to, to uh, us as a society, there should be harsh penalties for that. This is the second bill of its kind filed during this legislative session. Texas Senator Joan Huffman filed a similar bill, SB 1004. If passed, hers would also make tampering with an electronic monitoring device a state jail felony. With the KV Defenders, I'm Erica Proffer.